So Gordy Rooks joined here for Amped with Tribes. Hello, Hello. gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. So you've had quite a colourful story, quite an eclectic story, playing gigs all over North London. You were homeless at one point. It's been a long, hard slog, but you got there and you got there very well. Well, you've got here. <laughs> We've got this far. It was a great time. We were living in Liverpool and we just finished our like first tours with the Jets and the Pixies. It was amazing. We started a band with a lot of conviction. We decided we were going to do it and it was going to work. We had no money, nowhere to live. We didn't have a van. Mr. Jets gave us their old van, bless them. And then we kind of lived in there on tour. We made the record in Liverpool with Mike Crossley. It was great. Now it's album two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. Talk us through the process of making your second album and how different it was recording in Malibu Couldn't to have a been Liverpool car park. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> have been any more different. I mean, we love Liverpool and it, we had a great time there. And it was obviously different. It's a British city and Malibu and LA are totally strange places and it was incredible. It was a dream come true really working in Sound City. It's a studio like steeped in so much history. It's a beautiful place to go and it was a noticeable step up for us and we had to step up our game and we wrote a record which we felt was like strong enough to be part of the history of that studio. It felt like we were it was a really uphill, you know, thing we were trying to make. Not all the songs were finished. We had to work really hard to get this thing coming together. I actually listened to it for the first time since we'd finished it last night and I'm really proud of it, you know. I don't think we could have come come out with anything better. quite renowned for your sort of impromptu parties and, and wild ways. Again, do you think this is a change in direction? For that six week or eight weeks or nine weeks or whatever it was, maybe, but then it just all went tits up and we got home. Well, we had his birthday party at our house in Malibu and we had friends <laughs> out there and we nearly burnt the canyon down because <laughs> it's such a fire risk because everything's so dry. <laughs> it's just... And we, all our mates woke up in the morning and there's like fires like, and the candles still lit. Oh, no, oh, we've so got trouble, trouble for that. We're, we're trying to, we are better now, I think, because it couldn't have been any worse when we started, because it was just like, we were living on 50 pound between us when, when we were touring, <clears> that was it. So of course, to get through it, you just drink as much as possible, don't you? You could play anywhere in the world, anywhere at all, where would it be? Moscow. Oh, mate, it's got to be Wembley, surely! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We just love playing gigs. Play anywhere. We have played anywhere. We played in squats and bedrooms and all sorts. 